everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, a warm welcome to you too. So today let's check in with the universe and see what we need to hear today. Now keep in mind that this is a timeless general reading, so it's important to allow the message to resonate as it's meant to. Also keep in mind that this energy could be from the past, the present, or something yet to come. All right, let's dive in and see what the universe wants to share with us today. It's so exciting to be back doing readings. I've missed them. This is so much fun. All right, universe, so what do you want to talk to us about today? What do you want to talk about? Ooh, three of swords. We've got six of swords reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness, Nine of Swords. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. Universe, what do you want to tell us beyond this? And we will turn them upright after we examine the tarot cards. All right, wow. So Three of Swords, you are going through heartbreak um, somebody betrayed you there's a feeling of depression then we have the six of swords reversed this is a lack of progress um, like delay feeling stuck being overwhelmed being trapped um, page of swords reversed this is a person probably um, or people this could be um, an air sign, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this would be a malicious person because it's reversed. This is someone lying about you or spreading false rumors about you. Again, it's malicious. And then we end this series of cards with the Nine of Swords, like, whoa, okay, you have been through hell. Whatever this is, whatever this person has done, there's just a lot of anguish a lot of pain, sleepless nights. But look at these cards. I mean, this is powerful. We've got all swords in this reading with the tarot. So when you see this much sword energy, it's a sure sign, you know, that your mind is working overtime. You know, because swords, they represent, um, you know, thoughts. And in that, the conflicts of thought, decisions, um, again, it's also linked to the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Could be specifically those signs, could be strong air placements, could just be the energy of these signs. So again, you might be dealing with someone who's heavily influenced by air energy, or this might just be about your own mental space being, you know, overloaded with whatever it is you're dealing with. So let's break this down in detail. So the first card out is the Three of Swords. And yeah, this card like brings the feels. It's um, heartbreak, just plain and simple heartbreak. Somebody let you down. And there's, you know, look at the imagery. There's no escaping this pain, right? Like it happened. Um, you know, in the imagery of the swords cutting through the heart, it serves as a reminder that pain, unfortunately, is unavoidable. Yet, through this pain, there's growth. And that leads to, like, understanding and resilience. And honestly, um, it feels like the universe is saying, you know, basically... It's time to face whatever's been cutting deep, whatever this is for you specifically, whether it's, um, you know, a relationship, a friendship, a disappointment, or even the way I'm seeing this, even like, um, like a self-betrayal, like you let yourself down by doing something that wasn't in your greater good. Um, and it feels like the universe is saying, basically, you've got to sit with it. Don't run. Don't run away. You have to feel it. You have to feel it. Look at those swords in that chest, right? You have to feel it so that you can heal it. 
you know, and this card, uh, I keep seeing the symbol for Libra, and this card is actually tied to the zodiac sign of Libra, you know, and Libra craves balance and fairness. So I feel like your heart has been tested and now you must get back your balance and fairness because something is unfair here. However, that applies to your situation specifically. And it looks like you're having trouble moving on because with the Six of Swords reversed, right? Normally, this card would signal moving on, leaving the past behind, but this card is in reverse. So however this applies, it's like you're feeling stuck, nostalgia, memories, regret, shame, guilt, whatever it is. It's like you're holding on to something, but it's not good, whatever it is, you know, and maybe it's like an unconscious fear. Maybe you're afraid of what's on the other side of letting go. Maybe even though this is toxic, it's become normal, like an everyday thing. So losing it, you feel it in a very deep way, you know, and the water on this card is choppy, which tells me that the emotions are still stormy for you as well as the other person or people, however it applies. So you've got to ask yourself, you know, you've got to dig deep, like, how do you heal? How do you let go? How do you get over this? Ask yourself, you know, like, um, like, what am I clinging to that's actually keeping me in this space, in this, um, like, rough patch, in whatever this is for you specifically? And then when you look at the next card, we're kind of getting the details of the person or the energy of the situation, okay? When this card shows up reversed, especially with all these swords, I mean... <laughs> There's a high chance that you've got someone in their head and they're watching you. And likely you may not know. Or you have, like, you think it's possible, but maybe you're even gaslighting yourself. No, they wouldn't. But I keep hearing stalker. I keep hearing it again, stalker. So for someone, not for all of you, but for someone, whoever this person is, However this applies, someone's watching that's connected to this situation, likely the person causing these feelings for you. So if you're in conflict with someone right now, I feel like, um, like minimizing your social media presence might be wise. And again, this is not for everyone, but if you've had it in your head that maybe I should not post things, listen to that intuition, listen to that uh, wise, wise wisdom that's coming through because I see someone, I'm being shown an image, a shadow, looking at you from behind a computer screen. It doesn't look good and it doesn't feel good and it's like this person's stuck in their head. They're obsessing over you, could be due to rejection. Like rejection is powerful because you may not want someone, right? You may not wanna even be around someone, but if they reject you first, sometimes it's like triggering to latch on. And that's what this feels like. However, that applies. That's the way I'm seeing it. I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. I hope it makes sense. But for someone, this person is hyper fixated on you. I'm being shown someone who wears glasses and they have thick eyebrows. So that's going to be a confirmation for someone. Definitely take that if that's for you. Um, I, I believe in my heart that you feel something like you're getting an, like, like these intuitive nudges that someone's watching you. And if you are getting that and you are in conflict or some sort of situation, just be mindful of it. You know, um, I'm being guided to tell you this. So take it if it resonates. Um, I'm getting chills. So this is serious for someone. Um, if you're gonna post where you are, you know, what you're doing or where you're going or whatever online, okay? Post it when you're leaving, okay? So like, if you wanna be like, hey, I went to this, that, and the other, don't do it when you first get there because that means you're gonna be there for a while. Post it when you're leaving so if they show up, you're long gone. So if that resonates, take it. Again, I'm seeing air signs. so. This is going to be strong for someone. It's going to be very, very much a confirmation. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. 
or they have strong air placements in their chart. Yeah, there's somebody keeping tabs on you that is an air sign. They're monitoring what you're up to. And again, this is not for everyone, but if you're in conflict with someone who has strong air placements, <laughs> be mindful of this. There's there's like this immature energy. Like as it's the person is like an adult, but they don't act like it. Like they have tantrums if they don't get their own way. They're very one-sided very greedy again this may not be for everyone but wow it's coming through very strong someone's not communicating properly but they're still keeping an eye on you so it's going to be really important to set boundaries and be mindful of your surroundings there's something here about miscommunication for someone you know, and this card is reversed, so it feels like there's some um, hesitation, maybe even um, like avoidance in speaking your truth. Yeah, it's, or it's just this person is not being honest. However it applies, communication is off. Dishonesty, misunderstandings, however it is. Just be careful how you communicate because these are all swords, right? So words can either heal or they can cut like these swords, right? And then we lead into the nine of swords. This shows what this has done to you, what kind of space you're living in, what kind of space the other person may also be living in. This is not good energy. This has led to sleepless nights. This is gonna be your sleepless night card where your mind won't stop racing, waking you up at 2 a.m. and now you're awake till five because you can't stop thinking, anxiety, fears, overthinking. Um, the way this feels, it's like you're creating your own mental prison. But if you look at this card, there's light in the darkness. The person, the figure in the middle is rising above, right? You know, the Nine of Swords image is different with this tarot deck. It doesn't look like the normal. This figure is rising above the chaos. Yes, you have gone through the sleepless nights. Yes, you've gone through the racing mind, but you're rising. And the person weeping in their hands is the person you are walking away from. So you have been through hell, right? But you are coming out better than you went in. You are rising above this situation and the person or people you are dealing with. So even though you have been through this, you are rising above this. So now that we have the gist of the tarot cards, let's get the clarifiers so we can dive even deeper into this message. So we have truth be told. Yes, the truth is coming out. We have co-create. I just heard you are not alone. Mm. And we have milk and honey. Wow. So through this storm, through this chaos, you are going to find your pot of gold on the other side. You are going to heal and rise just like you see in that nine of swords. Wow. So truth be told just like we were talking about with the page of swords reversed there is something here about a lie or a rumor or gossip someone lied on you they lied about you they lied to you however it applies um like it's sharp and it, you know it makes sense with all these swords here they cut you deep with their lie like oh like you can feel it but just like the card says, the truth will be told. It's being revealed. Look at the owl standing on top of the mask, right? This is, you know, wisdom and truth. This is nothing will be hidden anymore, you know, and the universe is asking you as well to be real, especially with yourself. Be honest, be truthful, and wait for this balance to come because something is going to be made right and we have confirmation co-create like i love this you are not alone even if it's not people in your life the universe your ancestors your spiritual team they are with you they are with you holding you up they are ready to help you every step of the way you know the cheetah and the owl they both symbolize action and wisdom the wisdom is coming to you and with it your actions are leading you to your milk and honey this is the light 
in the darkness. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. You have been through hell and back, and now you are reaching the end of this storm with your milk and honey. You know, the healing is coming, the getting past this situation, our person, or even people, it's coming. You are reaching your milk and honey. This is like the way this feels, like my energy is like sizzling right now, like karma is going to make things right. The balance is coming. The scales have been tipped not in your favor, but now it's going to be reversed. This is like the ultimate reward. You know, you have been through hell, but the light is on the other side of the storm. The rainbow is here. And it's all about hope after the storm. You know, you've got that sweetness and abundance waiting for you once you clear through all of this mental and emotional chaos. I'm hearing you got to process and release. So I feel like bringing all of this together, the universe is advising you to confront your mental struggles like head on, really. Like all of this together, when you look at these cards, it's like the universe is advising you, really, just process and release, yes. You know, and the swords are urging you to stop overthinking. You know, do what you can to get out of that rumination. Speak your truth and release what's holding you back. I just heard you've got to cut through the BS. We're on YouTube, so we will keep it mild. You got to cut through the BS. Yes, you've got to pull out those swords and use those swords to cut through it. You know, the clarifying cards really bring it all together. They show you the path to your milk and honey that once you do this work of healing, however that applies to your situation, that there's light, that there's support. And look at the last card and there's abundance waiting for you. It's coming. It's coming. So use the sharpness of the swords you have dealt with, that you've been handed, that have been left in your heart. Pull them out, pull them out, and cut the ties that are binding you to this person or this situation. And then you have a guarantee the rainbow is there. The light will shine and you will get to see everything clearly and move on in this energy of milk and honey. You're going to move on to the next phase of your life with ease and greatness is awaiting you. What is always at the end of the rainbow? A pot of gold. And that's what's coming. You survive the storm. Now it's time to process and release so that you can get to the abundance that is coming toward you. So that's all I got for you today, my amazing celestial tribe. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me for this reading. It truly means the world to have you here. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, join the channel, share, and definitely turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. Stay blessed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.